Hey there, Gamera Obscure here. We gotta fight the, another one of these stupid things. Is that even gonna work? No. Oh, you son of a... You absolute son of a... Like, I threw bombs... Would you stop skating around? What's with these little blue flames as well? Like, I've totally thrown bombs at this thing. I threw it right in his stupid face. So, come on, let's go. What if I hit it with the hammer? Does that even work? Oh, it does work. Does it... Does it kind of stagger it at all? Maybe not. It kind of takes a big swipe at it. I don't know. I don't know if that's any more or less helpful. I mean, it's blue now. It's blue! So there we go. That did something. Can I please... I really hate this thing. You've got to be kidding me. How did that not connect? I'm very annoyed. Very annoyed. Oh, he's going to jump in again. Man! It's still blue. Alright. I mean, like, you would think the hammer would do, like, a lot more damage than my smelly old sword. So, like, that's really all I'm hoping for at this point, is that, like, I can... Okay, alright. We, we've made some progress here. Maybe it is getting better. It's getting better all the time! Alright, just don't let it puke flames out, because that's what really seems to, to hurt more than anything else. Dude, I'm telling you. Oh shit, he's gonna blow up. Get away. I mean, it's not gonna blow up. He's just gonna make little noises. Now he's gonna blow up. Get away. Get away. He dropped bombs. I don't need bombs. I need hearts. Man, I'm really getting my ass kicked in this temple. So what is that now? What else is there to do here? I'm sorry. Like, what the hell, man? I don't need bombs! I don't need bombs. So that switch is all rusted. Good grief. And I mean, again, like, this isn't like a speed run or anything, but... This, this temple's been a little frustrating. Now, what, what's my demeanor gonna be like in the water temple then? Cause... Like, I mean, I, I figured this is one of the longer ones, to be honest, but man... I just, and I, I skipped everything he said. I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to release one of my fairies onto myself just to get rid of that low health beep. Cause that's really annoying. And, the, and these damn keys are gonna be coming at me again. My goodness, okay. Ugh. Just, just slash away, can I get a heart? Thank you. I just don't want to hear the, the low health beep. But now that we've got this, the, the central pillar down, we're free to just jump across and let's go fight the boss. And I mean, I, I can't complain, like the timing of all of this is okay. You know, like with this boss fight and the cutscene, we'll get a little bit of action after that maybe. You know, like, the time of these episodes, I'm actually pretty happy with. Every break has been, you know, more or less logical. It's made sense with the timing that I want the videos to be in. So, like, I'm happy with that. I just... I'm frustrated with myself more than anything else. Just, I'm not playing well. And, like... It's a downward spiral, because it's like, I make a mistake, and I get really mad about it, and then that just leads to making more mistakes. I need to just be my usual chill gam self. So, like, this boss, you know, he, just, he comes out of the hole, you just kind of play whack-a-mole with it. And I mean, just, if I could hit it, that'd be cool. I think I hit it once? <laughs> what a joke. And then, you know, like, he comes out and flies around, he drops shit all over, he's breathing fire. Just stay away from it. 
Um, there's not much you can do otherwise. Eventually it just goes back into the hole. Well, don't run into it. Like, don't run into its body. Yeah, we're, we're gonna- we're gonna use one of the fairies. I hate to do it, but we have to. So, like, you don't have to die to use a fairy. It's not like- it's not like you use the fairy and it just starts flying around. Like, you use the fairy and you actually get the benefit of it right away. So just like that, we have a full life. So that's nice. Can you hit it, please? So there we go. And I think, like, we can just keep hitting it with the hammer. It's a lot better than just trying to hit it with the sword, I think. And here it comes out. It's just gonna do the same stuff. It's just gonna fly around. Eventually, it'll start dropping stuff on us. Right now, just stay away from the shadows. Like, this, it, it, there's no real pattern to it, per se. It's not like it's trying to fall exactly where you are. So just stay out of the shadows, and you'll be fine. And, you know, now it's just gonna keep dropping into the hole in which it's going. And then it gets to the point where, like, it, it, it comes up and it's like, nope, not coming up there. Yeah, we'll come up over here. So you just gotta be careful. It's, it's really not a difficult boss fight. But it is kind of cool. Like, I do like this boss fight. I really do. You know, it's it, but it's just kind of just sit around and wait to see what the damn thing's gonna do. And it's, a lot of it's just tricking it. Like, you're, like the, you're playing that game Snake. Like on the old Nokia cell phones, like you're just running around. Except you're not trying to get it to run into itself, you're just trying to confuse it. So I guess in a way it's really not like playing Snake at all. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, a couple more rounds of this, I would think. So he's not coming out of that hole, he's not coming out of that one. No, he is coming out of that one, alright. So there we go, and then we'll just hit it with the hammer again. And I, maybe one more, maybe one more round of this, and we'll be the victor. Let's just see, I don't know, okay, so he's gonna start dropping the stuff again. Again, just stay out of the shadows. It's easy enough to avoid this stuff. I probably didn't need to use the fairy. But it's like, now that I used the fairy, I don't need it. If I didn't use the fairy, I would have died, and it would have been used automatically. So it's not, not that hole, not that hole. Oh, this hole, okay, all right. I hope this is the last one. No, we're gonna have one more round of this? For real? Okay. I mean, at this point, it's, it's a little repetitive, but I mean, it's just how it is. Like, it's fun, it's an epic battle. We're, we're fighting an ancient dragon. I mean, what do you think? You think it's just gonna go down in like a couple hits here? Like, get real. Get real. You know? The boss fight music here, I mean, this is incredibly epic. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, he is coming out of that hole, alright. Oh, I was too slow. Look at that. It was too slow and just got blasted. Okay, that's the last hit. That's the last hit, there we go. So... We've defeated it, and this is kind of neat. I love the death animation for this. It flies out like it's in immense pain. It's it, it's delirious with pain. A, a fiery dragon somehow just burns up completely. Like it's a dragon essentially made out of fire, lives in lava. But that's the very thing that kills it. Get one more hit on it. No. <laughs> We got a heart container, so there we go. We're up to, I think that's 10 now. So there we go, that's the bottom row filled. Let's finish this up here. So we go in the crystal, as always, we get transported to the Chamber of Sages. And uh, who do you think the Fire Sage is going to be? Oh snap. The volcano's erupting, that guy starts splaying violently. And Death Mountain, the curse of Death Mountain, like, just clear skies, it's back to the way it used to be. You know, it doesn't look nearly as, as ominous. Nice blue skies, but uh, who do you think the, who do you think the Sage of Fire is gonna be? Any guesses? 
No way. It's Darunia? I never saw that coming. Thank you, brother. It's Hulk Hogan. Turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. The wild Darunia. He's the great sage of fire. Who would have thought? Isn't that funny, brother? This must be what they call destiny. Nothing's made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Brother! Take this medallion. So, there we go. We got two medallions now. No, three. Three medallions, because we were gifted the light medallion. So we're already halfway through our medallion collection. But, I mean, the, the last three temples are going to be anything but easy. The water temple is probably my least favorite in the game. And like I said, it's it's not as bad as its reputation makes it out to be. We're true brothers. Um, but it's still my least favorite. Shadow Temple's pretty cool. And the Spirit Temple's also kind of neat, the way that works. Um, but we'll just see those later. So, I mean, just like that, we're done. No, I don't want to go back to the Fire Temple. Where do I go from here? Just kind of like teleported me here. Let's explore for a bit. We got some time. I can't end this episode just yet. Where does this go? You... No. There's just some rupees. Oh, I need the Scarecrow song for over there. Alright. I mean, does does Navi... Navi? Navy? Have any advice? I don't know. We'll just go out the way we came. Get the hook shot. We have the saw that we got a couple episodes ago. We'll have to figure out what to do with that. But I mean, for now... Well, shit, we got this hammer. Let's... let's use it. Yes, yeah, so these big old rocks. Where does this go? You gotta hit them twice. That's how hardy those rocks are. Oh, snap! We got some business scrubs. What are they gonna sell us? Bombs? I don't want bombs. I can't imagine these sell us anything remotely useful. Arrow? No. Alright, never mind. Did I- What? I bought them! I didn't want to buy your Oh, son of a bitch. I actually bought- I was hitting the B button. You can't have this now. Seriously! If you hit the B button when it's on okay, it still counts? That's bogus. That's bogus. I just threw away a butt-ton of rupees. And then walk past a green one. And, I, and then I missed it again, but whatever. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's bust these out. He's gotta go somewhere. He's gotta go somewhere. Where's this? Oh, it's the Great Fairy's Fountain. Have I... There's no way I've been in here. What is... Is this gonna, like, be double magic then? Or something? Because this is a different fairy than the other one. Because I never had to be, like, in the volcano. Excellent cinematography there, I'm telling you. Just... It's, it's, it's just hilarious to me. It's never not gonna be funny. She's going to enhance- yeah, we're gonna get double magic. Sweet. Receive it now! Who talks like that? Nobody talks like that. But yeah, this is nice. I'm glad I came in here. Link is just... He doesn't know what's going on. Get the upskirt shot of Link there. Magic power's been enhanced. Yeah, now we have twice as much. So that's good. That's good. What? What a view. Good lord. Good lord. Yeah, look at that. So much longer. And how appropriate. Gam, stop it. Stop it. Wait, hold on. Because now I can, I can bust this rock. I see a ladder. And surely I can jump? Yeah, so let's see what happens when we climb this ladder. This must be like the way out. And we'll be at the top of Death Mountain. 
or something. Oh, there's a piece of heart. That's right. You have to plant... You have to plant uh, some beans as a child. And then you come back here. Well, that was a weak rock. That only took one hit. What's down here? Treasure chest. What's in it? Probably just some rupees. Bombs. Bombs that I don't need. Where were those... Like, two episodes ago... When I got stuck in... The fire temple, because I didn't have bombs. So where's this gonna go, then? Like, we're just... Okay, alright, hold on. This is suspicious. This has to go somewhere. Yeah! Oh. Whatever. Alright, um... Well, you know what? I'm just gonna save and quit, because when you do that, you just get warped back to the temple of time when you're an adult. So, we're gonna stop here, just to get the hell out of the volcano, and we'll just pick up the adventure next time. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.